Hey guys, welcome to Tech Feed Weekly. This is going to be my first uh, PC build for you guys. We're going to build a media PC on a budget. So, I've got my cheat sheet. You're looking at about $430 for this build, unless you want to add the SSD, which I will talk about in a little bit. So, parts wise, I've got the um, for the CPU. We don't need anything too special. We just need uh, AMD A6. I got the 6400K. It's a bit old, but you can pick it up for about 68 bucks in Australia, which is pretty good. And it's going to do graphics, and it also will do your um, web browsing. You know, simple stuff. It's this computer is not designed for gaming, guys. Just just watching movies on. If you want to have it, hook it up to the TV or uh, just store your files. Um, for the motherboard, we went with the ASRock. FM2A88X uh, Mini ITX motherboard. As you can see, it's going to be a tiny case. I don't want it to take too much room. I don't want it to use too much power. It's going to be on constantly. So, perfect for about $130. You can pick it up. It's got Wi Fi, it's got SATA 6 uh, ports. It's got um, enough enough power into it to drive, uh, to drive this machine. Next, we got, uh, we've got the RAM. Now, I've gone for just a generic 1600 MHz high performance G skill. Um, 4 gig should be enough if you want to add 8, maybe if you want to play some games, because this case will accommodate a graphics card in the future. But for just streaming media, 4 gig 1600 should be enough. You can pick this up for about 40 bucks. And I'm sure you can find it cheaper on eBay or some other place. Uh, next option is now storage. You could go just for a nice 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda, they're about 100 bucks, uh, formatted so you've got your windows on it and then you've got storage, or if you want to spend another, you're looking at about probably 70 bucks, you can get yourself a nice 120 gig SSD. Now I had this 250 gig SSD laying around so I'm going to use that for free, so I'm not going to include it in the final price. Uh, but with the SSDs, you're looking at probably around the $500 mark for this build, which is pretty acceptable for a media PC with two terabytes of storage, and you've got your uh, SSD as well for speed, especially if you're running Windows 8 and the new UFI uh, motherboards. It's uh, definitely going to improve your speed of uh, of the PC. Uh, as far as power supply, you don't need too much power. Like I said, no graphics card. So I'm, I'm just going for a 350, it's a Corsair, uh, should have enough power to run all this stuff and if you want to add extra drives later, like I'll have another 2 terabyte just in case, but you don't have to do this now. Um, if you want to add more drives later, that should have more than enough power to accommodate for that. Uh, finally, the case went for the Cooler Master Elite 120, I think it's a very nice looking case, it's pretty small. Uh, it's got USB 3 on the front, you've got USB 2. Uh, it supports, like I said, it will accommodate a full graphics card and also supports a normal ATX uh, power supply so you don't have to get the little special stuff. Uh, good cable management all around, good for cooling. It, it will uh, accommodate for air cooling if you need, uh, not air cooling, sorry, liquid cooling. Uh, for the air cooling, you do have to get a low profile cooler if you want to go for um, aftermarket. Uh, the stock AMD one just fits in it, so it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so this is part one. Check out part two for the actual build of the computer. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.